Hey guys, Lone here, and I am back with a review video. And today I am reviewing the Marvi Uchida Le Pen Technical Drawing Pen set of four. If you guys remember, I have already done one video uh, reviewing the, one of their earlier products. And uh, I'll have a card or something, I don't know, up in there if you guys want to check out that video. So I got these four pens at Hobby Lobby with a coupon. Woohoo for coupons. And uh, yeah, I have seen these being used quite a bit recently and I figured I would go ahead and give them a try and see what they're like and give you guys my personal kind of impression on them. Keep in mind that this is just my impression and I am in no way, shape, or form being endorsed by anyone, and even if I don't like these pens, you guys should still go ahead, go ahead and try them, because you never know, you might actually like these pens. So, like I said before, these are made by the Marvi Uchida Company, or Uchida of America. Now I don't have the packaging on them and that is simply because I ripped up the packaging whenever I got them because I wanted to put them away. <laughs> and I didn't think I was actually going to do a review for them. So on their website, um, because they have a website, <gasps> yay! It says Le Pen Drawing, a perfect complement to the Le Plume permanent markers. These pigmented ink pens are great for all your manga and anime style comic artwork. They are permanent when dry, thus making them ideal for such artwork. Available in black ink only and seven point sizes. So on their website, they are $1.99 each. If you get a four pack on their website like these, they are whoop do eight oh six so eight dollars and six cents. They come in sizes 0 0.03, 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.8, and a brush pen along with the four pack. Now just giving you guys a heads up, if you decide to go ahead and order them off of the Marvi Uchida website, they only ship within the continental United States. So if you live in Hawaii or Alaska, or you live elsewhere in the world, you're going to have to go elsewhere or contact their technical support or customer support. I would also like to mention that they do have a message on the top of their page that says orders placed between December 28th through no, or December, November, my bad, <laughs> November 28th through November 30th of 2016 will not be shipped out during that time because of our phys uh, physical inventory. We will resume shipping on December 2nd, 2016. We apologize for any con inconvenience this may cause. So just keep that in mind if you guys decide to order it this weekend because you guys want to try these out yourself. So, without that being said, I'm a little bummed out that they are only available in black ink. It kind of makes me a little sad because I was hoping that, you know, they'd make up a sepia color because you guys know me. I like my sepia. So, as for the actual appearance of the pens for the four pack, it comes in 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and 0 0.8. So should be a little interesting. I'm a little sad that this didn't come with a 0 0.3 just as an in-between. So we get really fine and really thick. Now as for the actual appearance of the pen itself, I'm not sure if these have a sticker on them or if it's actually part of the pen itself. It feels kind of like it's part of the pen, the uh, wrapping here or the writing. Um, definitely feels stuck up and uh, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing because it doesn't feel like it's being scratched up so maybe this will actually stay on the pen itself says that it's pigmented ink, a bunch of other languages saying pigmented ink and conforms to some kind of code 
And also, it has the size nib here next to the barcode. And it also has the point size nib here on the side. And then also, it has the size of the nib on the cap. So, yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about the white. I'm afraid that it's going to get like super dirty because I like to take my liners with me. Because I like inking and stuff like that whenever I'm out and about with my family. The nibs look pretty good. Sorry about the gloves. My hands are cold and have been cold for quite a while now. So that's why I'm wearing them. So yeah, looks pretty durable. But you guys know me. I don't just, you know, review and then ink. We also have the fade proof and waterproof test. So, give me one second to set that up for myself, particularly the waterproof side. So, yeah. And then we'll get to testing out this stuff because, I mean, they did say it's permanent. So, here we go. So, I'm back with some water. And, as you guys know, now it's time for the fade proof and the waterproof test. If you're wondering what paper I'm using for this test in particular, it is, I believe, the Kansai Mix XL Mixed Media Paper because that's what I have in my scraps because I don't have any of the Strathmore. So, here we go. Hopefully I don't knock over my camera. That would be ironic. So, I am actually... I've actually let this sit for a day because that's usually what I do after I ink is I let the... Uh, Picture sit for a day to make sure that the ink is brought into the paper or dries correctly. And so far, I'm not seeing anything on the fade proof test. Oh, wait. Actually, it did fade a little bit, but then again, that can be simply remedied by just taking it easy on the eraser. I was pressing down pretty hard. I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference between the fade proof here and the waterproof down here. So just keep that in mind that you're going to want to watch just how much you press your eraser in over the lines whenever you go to erase. So I definitely do not press my eraser in as hard as I was doing it here. So, just keep that in mind. It's not exactly fade, fade proof, but hey, we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna give up hope yet. Maybe there's something that it's good at doing. Like my sketch, because I've already erased over that once. So, now we do the waterproof test. And I am using... I don't remember what this is. I know it's a water brush. I know it's a brush. So I'm just going to layer this water on top. Let me see how it goes. And so far it's not fading or anything like that. It's not smudging. All I'm doing is just putting just straight up water on top. And so far I don't have an issue with it. We'll wait and see what it looks like when it dries. So I let this sit for a while. I actually went to bed while this was still wet <laughs> last night. And I'm going to show it's not waterproof, but hey, that's okay. It's for comic and manga style art. I just figured I'd give it a shot because why not, you know? Because I like using watercolor whenever I do images as well as Copics and I still have to use my colored pencils so I don't know. But I just wanted to let you guys know that this is not a waterproof pen so if you use watercolor with your liners this is not the pen set for you. So hopefully you guys will take that into account regardless. Not too bad. Not too bad. So meh. Anyway, yeah, now we're going to go and uh, work on the uh, inking of uh, Little Chibi Lurk. So, yay! <laughs> so, 
So here is my final thoughts on the Le Pen technical drawing pen. The inks are really dark and as long as you have a light hand or you do erase over your dark sketch lines, you will not have a problem with them fading. Just be careful with your eraser, but I mean, I didn't really have any fading after I erased my lines. The only other issue that I had with them was the actual design of the barrel. If you look at a picture on their site, you will see exactly what I mean. Their barrel design is very unusual for a fine liner set and where they have this indent that makes it so that the barrel becomes fatter. Um, that is where I like to hold my liners. So for me personally, it was very hard to get used to lining my picture either further away from how I like to hold my pens or closer up. There there really was no in between. And because it's kind of really smooth towards the uh, nib, I couldn't really get a grip on it. So it was a little unusual. But I mean, overall, they're not a bad pen. Obviously, you guys will see next week how this will look once it's colored and if it handles marker really well, or at least a lot of marker. But I mean, I personally didn't have a problem with them. I would still go with Uni Pen though, just because that is my pen of choice. And also the fact that I do like to use watercolor. So, I mean, these pens aren't bad. I would use them more for maybe doodles or maybe character designs real quick or something like that. So, I mean, that's just my thoughts. So, take it or leave it. I hope you guys learned something. So, there you guys have it. That is my overall opinion on how the ink works and how I feel about the barrel and just the feel of the pen um, <laughs> along with the fade proof and waterproof test as well so hopefully you guys like this video if I do not reply to comments uh, that is because I'm probably out celebrating my birthday and um, yeah I'm just taking the day off and just doing stuff for myself so expect this to be colored next week because this video has gone on long enough and like I said earlier I kinda am feeling colored pencil I don't know we'll, we'll see I'm kinda up in the air on that right now so I will talk to you guys in my next video and I hope that you guys enjoyed the review so talk to you guys next week bye